All right, so in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through Ninja Trader and give you a basic walkthrough of how to use Ninja, all right? So first things first, once you log in, you're just gonna have this one little panel here, or you might have a, a, pre, a preset template that pops up. You could just go ahead and go over here. Look at this top screen. This is your pretty much your control panel, okay? So if you go click new, or actually if you go click workspace, you can go under new and then it'll pop up a brand new um, workspace and it'll be empty. So how you get it to look like mine, which is pretty simple. I just have a chart. I have a market analyzer over here just, you know, showing the instruments that I like to trade. Um, so I can see quickly what those prices are, how much they change for the day. So how you do this is by going to your control panel right think of this as like your your main uh control panel okay this is where you make new charts and you do everything inside a ninja through this control panel okay so you'll go to new and then what i use is just chart you'll just click chart um but first let me break down all of these because you know i just want to give you a overview of how i use ninja i don't use all of these things I only use a couple, right? So to get a new chart or a new anything on your screen, you go over here, it says new, um, basic entry. I don't use basic entry. I use my chart trader, which you see over here. Um, I trade right off the chart. I don't use FX Pro. Um, we don't trade options, so I don't use option chain. Don't use the order ticket. Don't use the super dom. Um, don't use alerts log. What I do use is chart. So first things first, you just click on chart. It'll bring up this window and then you select the instrument that you want to trade. So in my case, I pretty much only trade NASDAQ. So I'll go to this drop down and I'll click NQ 925. That's the current contract. Okay. So if you don't see it there, um, you could just go down to this futures tab and then find NQ925, okay? So once you click that, it'll bring up all these parameters. Um, you could just leave it how it is. We could always change that later. Then you click OK, and you get a chart like this, all right? This is NASDAQ on a one-minute time frame. Um, and you can see all these candles represent one minute. You could change that by going up here. If you want to go to a different time frame, you would just go boom. Um, let's say, you know, I'm on a, I want to see it on a three minute. Um, that's how you change that. And then you'll see like order entries over here. These are some trades from today. So if you're, um, if you don't want those on your screen, let's say, you know, it's looks a little too, messy when you're you know in a trade um and you don't want that on your screen at all you just right click the chart go to data series and then you would scroll down and you'll see it down here it says plot executions text and marker okay i could do a marker only then you'll see it'll only look like arrows or i could do do not plot and they won't plot at all I like leaving them on just to, when I go back and do my review, um, see where I got in, where I get out, all that, all that good jazz. All right. So what else do we have on here? Also, uh, to use that chart trader thing that you saw before you go up here and it's got this little icon, um, it says chart trader. You click that and then you click on chart trader. Okay. So now if I'm, you know, looking at the market um, and I want to make a decision, I can easily just click buy or if I wanted to short, I could easily just click sell right here. OK, we could do that right now and I'll show you how this works. I can just if I wanted to long the market right now, um, make sure I'm on a SIM account because this is just practice, of course, if I wanted to just buy the market. I would click buy and then you'll see your position pop up here. Okay. So I got long, I bought it two, two, eight, three, four. 
Now, let's say I wanted to place a stop loss or yeah, let's just place a stop loss. Okay. If this, you know, comes down here, I want to get out. All right. Um, I could just right click on the chart, right click on the chart and then sell stop market one. All right. So now if price comes down there, it'll stop me out. Also, another thing I like is to put my um, crosshairs on. So if you go up here to the mouse, you could just click local and then you'll get to see this. So like if I'm looking at a precise area, um, like where I put that stop and I just have the mouse, I won't be able to see the number on the right. So here I'm able to do that um, and see the number on the right as I'm looking at a uh, specific area. So if that number is too small for you on the right and you're kind of squinting like I am right now, you could right click the chart, go to properties, and then right here on font, we could just bump this up to like 16. And now those numbers get a little bigger for you, right? So that's what I use. Um, I keep it at 16. I have a 4K monitor, so things tend to get very small, especially when I'm sitting all the way back here. Um, so you could just do that, put it on 16, whatever font you like, get crazy with it. Um, next thing, you see all these numbers, right? You see one right here, that means your current position is one contract. If it's green, that means you're long. You're long one contract, you bought one contract. And then here is your entry price. And then right under it is at default, it's going to be set to points. So right now we're losing 2.5 points, 2.7 points. Um, so if you wanted to change that, you just click it and you could scroll through. So I like keeping it on the dollar amount. And uh, you could, you know, put it to whatever you want, points. Um, or dollar amount. I like dollar amount. So let's say I just want to get out of this position. Maybe, um, I saw something I didn't like, or maybe I shouldn't be in the, this position at all. A lot of the, or not a lot of the times, but sometimes either you're running automated strategies or, um, you forget a position's open, whatever the case may be, whether it's human error or computer error. You want to know how to get in and out of positions quickly because the market can move very fast. All right. So you don't want to get caught in things you shouldn't be in. So let's say I wanted out of this right now. I don't want to wait till it hits 813. Um, I don't want to wait till it hits my target. So let's say I had a target up here. Same thing. You right click and you put sell limit up there. All right. So now if it gets up to 854, it'll fill me out. Um, but let's say, you know, I don't want to wait. I just want to get out now. That's it. I could either go up here to my accounts tab, um, and click the close button right here, this little X, or I could also just go here and click close. Okay. So if I click close, it'll get everything out. It'll cancel those orders. It'll fill me out at the market price. Um, and you're out okay so next what do we have here um we could go and see how to put an indicator on the chart for indicators you would go to this little trend looking thing right ninja trader has tons and tons of preloaded indicators for you to use all right so I mean, typically you'll just put on like a moving average to see kind of where the market's going, where the market's headed, um, what kind of trend we're in or whatever indicators you like to use. There's, you know, thousands of these in here. So let's say we wanted a moving average, exponential moving average. Right now, this is set to 14. Uh, there's a 14 day moving average. Or if we wanted a SMA, we could go to SMA, put this thing on like 200 and see where that's at. If you want to edit the colors and everything, you go down here 
Um, we can make this like nice and Dodger blue. <laughs> okay. So that's how you do that. You could, you know, go to different indicators um, to move around the chart, right? Sometimes, you know, your chart looks a little crazy. It might look like this or something, right? It looks a little out of whack. Um, if it's all messed up like that, you could, easy way to fix it is click this F at the top, right? It's kind of hidden, but that'll fix the scale. Now, if you want to zoom in even more, you could just uh, click on the bottom of this grid and drag it to the left. Drag it to the left. And now if I wanted to, let's say, center you know, this stuff but keep the scale how it is, I would hold the control button and then slide it down, okay? Hold the control button to slide it and keep the scale. If you wanted to you know, widen these candles like this, I don't know why you would do that but that's how you do it. You just drag. But if you wanted to keep the scale and just move these candles down on the screen, you would hold the control button and then slide it. Okay. Um, that's when I zoom in, you kind of have to do that sometimes. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Let me check these notes or just keep going keep going through this stuff. Um, strategies. So if you have any automated strategies, you would go into here, click this, and then you could load up uh, whatever strategy you have. Um, and yeah, that's how you do that. And what else do I use? Tools. So tools, only thing you really need in here is if you're importing a ninja script strategy. So if you're using one of my strategies or somebody else's, or you're importing a custom indicator or something, you would just go to import and then uh, ninja script add on. And then from there, you'll find the file that you wanted to import. You click that and it's pretty easy to do that. Okay. Um, and then rollover. So with futures contracts, they expire depending on which contract. There's different expiration dates. Um, if you're in one of my groups, I'll let you know when we have to do this. Um, but to roll over to the next contract, you would just do, uh, you would go to tools, database management. And then when it's time to roll over these contracts, like whether it's NASDAQ or s p or gold or whatever the hell you're trading you would just go in and it'll pop up here that the contract expires you click this button right here it'll automatically roll over all your charts to the next um current contract so that's how you would do that uh what else is in tools not much not much in tools um yeah, the only thing in tools I use is import for importing strategies and ninja script add-ons. Anything else I missed in new? So if you wanted to do like some kind of back test or get your trade performance, you would click that down here and it'll uh, pop up some of your trade info. You could have fun with that. And then connections, just make sure you're connected to the right feed, okay? So if you are, um, you know, connecting to a live account, you would click live, connected to whatever, Apex or Top Step or one of the prop firms, you would just, that, this is where you find your connection. This is where you find your feed, all right? Um, and then besides that, I mean, I think we've covered pretty much everything on, uh, the basics of Ninja and like how to set up your layout. So you could, um, set up multiple charts or you could just have one clean chart on your screen like this. Um, you could quickly, uh, change the different time frames over here and if you wanted to add another time frame 
So you can see I have like a couple extras on top. Um, you would go to configure, and then from here you could add like a daily chart um, or a daily time frame or a different kind of minute time frame. Um, you would just click add, or no, you would go to minute and then add and then go to like, all right, I want to test this on a 33 minute chart. Okay, weirdo. <laughs> you would just click apply. Okay, and then go over here and you should see 33 minute pop up. All right, I've never used a 33 minute chart, but you know, if you want to use that for your testing or whatever, go ahead. Um, I was just giving you an example. All right, and yeah, you could easily flip through charts um, and different time frames by using that drop down. If you wanted to change like the uh, candlestick look, so let's say you like open high, low close bars, you know, that's how you do that. Or if you wanted uh, just a line chart, that's how you do that. Okay. I typically just use candlesticks the way they appear. You could always, you know, change the colors um, by just right clicking, go to data series, and then come down here and mess with all those colors and stuff. That is, I can't think of anything else that I use. I'm pretty much just checking my positions up here using this, using the accounts tab. Um, you could see like orders, if you have any orders out there, executions, you could see your executions in here, different strategies you're running, positions. If you're in a position on any account, it'll pop up here. Um, and then all of your accounts are here. You could see quickly what your unrealized PL is, your total PL. And if you need to close a position, you could do it right from there. Besides that, I'm just looking at a chart. Um, placing my trades off the chart right here. And then, yeah, I don't really use this too much. It's just like in the background, this market analyzer thing, just to see like the last price of these different uh, contracts. But yeah, that is the um, walkthrough of Ninja. There's one more thing, ATM strategy down here. Like you could customize and make your own uh, pretty much brackets. So like if you got long and you wanted to automatically place a stop loss somewhere, that's how you would set that up, okay? That's for another video though. I'll have another video out on uh, ATMs. Um, pretty much you could set custom parameters to like, all right, if I enter, I want it automatically to place a stop at 20 points. And if price goes up 20 points, I want it to automatically move my stop to break even. So you could get fancy and do some cool stuff with the ATM strategies. I'll have a separate video out for that. That's, you know, not for today in this video. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's the Ninja walkthrough. I hope this helped you guys. If you're new to Ninja, kind of navigate and see what's going on. And then once you're done with your workspace, just make sure you go up to workspace and click uh, save, okay? So just make sure you click save, and now you can just X out a Ninja. Next time you come back in, it should automatically load up. If it doesn't, you go to workspace, and then you find the one that you named, and just load that bad boy up, okay? So that's the walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed this, or learned how to navigate ninja a little better and i'll see you guys later